Welcome aspiring filmmakers of the new Hollywood generation. My name is Orlando Delbert. This is Hollywood Unapologetic. Today I want to speak about filmmaking essentials, film distribution, social media, and your film, and the new Hollywood generation. If you haven't watched Filmmaking Essentials, Film Distribution Basics, Distribution Strategy, and the new Hollywood generation, I'll have a link at the end of this episode for you to check out. So far in the series on film distribution, we discuss filmmaking basics and having a distribution strategy, digital rights, and film distributors as digital rights managers. In the last episode in particular, we discussed the importance of knowing your target audience at the very beginning of your project and how that audience determines how your story is written, budgeted, shot, edited, packaged, distributed, marketed, and everything in between. If you haven't watched these four episodes, I suggest you do after this episode. Like most independent filmmakers, we produce our film and find a distributor. The distributor tries to find exhibitors, which in turn attempt to find an audience. This has been the traditional way most independent films get released. For many independent productions, it becomes an uphill battle to find the right audience if the battle itself hasn't already been lost. That is why it is so important to consider a marketing strategy geared to a very narrow and targeted audience at the very beginning of the development stage of your film. And as I've mentioned in this previous episode, the process should be a collaborative effort between your audience and you from day one. What that really means, you can gauge how the public reacts to what you post online, you can interact and get feedback to see what your audience responds to, both positively and negatively. That feedback can help you work out the details towards a positive marketing strategy. And if you are able to build a solid base of supporters, especially from the very beginning, those numbers only benefit the credibility you and your film has when it is time to look for film distribution. To our benefit, we have access to a potential worldwide audience via social media. Without question, social media should be an essential part of any film distribution strategy from the very beginning. In the very beginning, your using social media usage may be free, but that changes quite quickly. The biggest misconception many have about social media is that it's a free resource. If you have spent any significant effort on promotion via social media, you know how much time it all takes. Yes, setting up a Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram accounts are free. But to get all the designs just right, the tweaking of the preferences, and then reaching out to your friends takes a lot of time. Then comes the search engine optimization, or SEO. There's a whole process of required steps best utilized for SEO. Your SEO itself is a process of growing the quantity of your website traffic through quality visitors. Quality meaning real people, not bots. These quality visitors find you through unpaid or direct traffic from other sources. Search engines look for relevant content by going through a list of known URLs and then places it in order on the search engine page. For someone using social media, some of that is already taken care of for you simply because of the sheer volume of end users on that particular platform. But you will still need to set up your information on your production companies and your film's website and through social media to improve your visibility and searchable relevance. Then to expand your reach beyond your immediate circle to reach that specific narrow audience for your film takes a lot of time. Time taken away from the progression of your film itself, time taken away from your day job, time taken away from your family life and from yourself. You then reach a tipping point where you begin to use automation tools online. But to get any kind of real traction requires spending money. What's free can only yield so many results. If you start buying advertising ads on YouTube or Facebook, you're spending even more money. Facebook in particular, I found out firsthand, requires a whole lot of money, sometimes in the high five figures to low six figure range, to so just break even. And most independent filmmakers simply don't have those kinds of resources. Then we have to consider what our return on investment, our ROI, is dollar and time-wise. Without getting into the technical side, your ROI is a formula used to figure out the ratio between your project's net profits and your cost of your investment. The trick is to figure out what your film's revenue potential is and to make your film, including the expenses from your distribution strategy, and make your film for less. This is a big topic, and the next episode will be all about that. If you're still in a development stage, putting together everything for your film, including the elements of your marketing side of the distribution strategy, there's no money that has been made yet. 
And when your film is still in the development stage, you have to figure out the monetary value of your film. This includes the early steps in your distribution strategy, which should also include your film's social media exposure. Social media is a necessity for today's filmmaker. The reason being, our species are social creatures. We just are. While some artists may be more reclusive than others, it's still largely in our DNA to be part of a societal network. For an independent filmmaker, we really should take advantage of that technology to reach a global audience and to expand our network. But here's the thing, and probably the most important thing, there has to be a connection between your film story to your film's audience. There has to be an emotional connection, otherwise all your efforts won't work. There's no hook. There has to be a reason why your intended audience wants to watch your film. Whether it's through the mood progressions or the overall message, there has to be something people can relate to emotionally. There has to be an emotional connection they can bond with and hold on to. Keeping this in mind as you are putting together your distribution strategy during your film's development stage and putting together a social media strategy as part of it, now you're in best position to build upon that emotional connection through your social media presence. Now you can write riveting copy used along with dynamic graphics geared specifically for your film. Now you can create trailers which are designed for the viewer to want to see more and share them with your targeted audience. This is where the power of social media comes in. But social media only works when we think of it as a tool and plan accordingly to use it correctly, with purpose. The whole, I'll build it and they will come mindset is short-sighted. What's very important for you to know at this stage, for your film to ever be considered by any distributor, they look at how to best maximize any and all possible revenue streams across multiple platforms. This becomes their one and only goal. One of the things mentioned throughout this series, Hollywood is about making money. What that truly means, you and I are of little significance to the bean counters and check signers unless we're able to produce something that can be monetized in their best interest not ours. This is certainly true in the distribution side because billions of dollars every year come directly from distribution. Many creative artisans don't fully understand or open to that line of thinking. This only hinders his or her chances of success, unfortunately, when it comes to deal making and negotiating. So many filmmakers get burned once they're looking for distribution options because they don't always fully understand what they are signing off on. These details can be somewhat confusing or even daunting for some. Believe me, I get it. By this point, you should have an experienced entertainment attorney representing your deal. An experienced entertainment attorney's job is to be your advocate. You want someone who is able to negotiate, or better said, improve a distributor's offer. Getting an entertainment attorney on board ensures you and everyone involved gets the best deal while protecting your project legally and financially. As members of the New Hollywood generation, we are all in it together. Be safe, be smart, and don't forget to be great. More on success in filmmaking, success in life, can be found in Pollyanna's tear-soaked Battlefields of Hollywood, Survival Guide Against the Cynicism and Hypocritical. I'm going to add a link at the very end to this episode, Filmmaking Essentials, Film Distribution Basics, Distribution Strategy, and the New Hollywood Generation. Go check it out. Are you ready for the challenge?